I think it's unfortunate. I mean, listen, as someone who, who was born Jewish but isn't religious at all, to me, a lot of this stuff is just all fairy tales and, and people arguing over things that can't be proven one way or another. And it's sad and it's creating division and people are having to choose sides. People are losing money. People are losing you know, families, feud over this. They lose friends over this. And and it's, it's, all, the, it's all, to me, it's all fairy tales. It's like, there's no real devil, like... You know what I mean? Like, there's not. Uh, you know, and I'm going to say it right there. There's no devil. There's no real, like, you know, Satan is not like an actual entity that anyone's ever proven. Say it. Say it. Black man is God. Say it, Vlad. <laughs> Black man is God. White man is God. Asian man is God. If you if right. you feel the God within you, then, then all, more power to you. Some people like the concept of religion. Some people think religion just only brought problems. Like, I, I, I understand both sides of it. And, and, and to me, it's sad when you see this type of lines being set and people constantly fighting with each other, when historically black people and Jewish people Get were along. allies. Yeah, and didn't, and that, didn't y'all watch Django? <laughs> what, 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 what happened with Django and the Jews? In Django, they, they part. <laughs> in Django Jamie Foxx is uh, a guy who taught him how to shoot, put the clothes on him, was German. Okay. Right? So most of the Jews that had escaped Germany, at, most of the people that had escaped Germany, like America is mostly of German descent. They had to be of that, of, of that faith. Like they had that faith. When the, we talk about the slums and all that, those are called the ghettos, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a Jewish term. Exactly. So, and that was more a, Jewish people. There was more Jewish ghettos. people here right. than everything else. Yeah, and when you look at, for example, like, Black people and Jewish people working together successfully. Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine. Mm -hmm. You think the two of them are tripping off each other's race like that? No. You think you think they're arguing like like you know Russell Simmons and Leroy Cohen built a, an incredible empire together. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. Me and Boosie, like right. you know, look at look at what we've done There's together. Russell Rick Rubin. Russell Rick Rubin, who's also Jewish. There you go. That's the original that, building that's the original, of it. Yeah, Leroy Cohen came later. Right, that's actually a better, thank you for correcting me. That's yeah. actually a better example. Uh, those are people though, and that's a deal. You, th Those are people, and those people together, um, individuals, you know, uh, separate and meeting each other is better when they, then they meet with a group because the, the group is sometimes led by anger and passion and yeah. people just move along with it. Yeah, I, I don't agree with a lot of stuff that the ADL says. Like, for example, when uh, they, they denounced uh, Dave Chappelle's stand-up on Saturday Night Live, I was like, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all yeah, tripping. He he brought up some valid points. He brought up both sides. Uh, he didn't, he didn't uh, even though he's friends with Kanye, he didn't put Kanye on a pedestal or anything of like that. He even said that he avoided Kanye after those comments. Uh I, I think that a, a lot of times uh, Jewish people, and I've said that, you know, Jewish people are part of the problem as well when it comes to these kinds of situations. And I can say that as a Jewish person is that like the whole thing that whenever you say Jew anything, it's suddenly anti-Semitic. No, it's not. You, you're allowed to talk about Jews. Uh, you know, you're allowed to say that you don't like Israel's treatment of Palestine without being anti-Semitic. I don't agree with uh, the way Israel treats Palestine. I, I, I've been saying for years that there should be a better solution than this constant fighting that's been happening over, you know, whatever, six decades at this point that hasn't yeah. really gotten anywhere. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, the whole chosen people, I've never liked that term. I've always thought that was a divisive term that creates bad feelings on both sides. I, I don't, never I don't understood feel, why. I don't feel chosen. I don't think anyone else is chosen. And, and, and to create, you know, and then what happens? A certain group feels they're chosen. Then the other group says, no, you're, we're chosen and you lied about being chosen. So so you see what I'm saying? Right. We're the real Jews, you're the fake Jews. And and, and it's, it creates a level of just nonsense on both sides 